Gardens, Jay McFall, I'm with Organic Living. Today we're going to talk about butterfly gardens. Why would you want to invite butterflies into your garden? Well, for me, I think they're beautiful and I love watching them. And many people do as well. They are also beneficial to us. If you're growing fruits and vegetables, you want to have them and the bees and other flying insects because they help pollinate the plants so that you have more fruits and vegetables. Now what does pollinate mean? Pollinate means that you have two different trees with flowers on them and they need to have their pollen, which is kind of like the seed for the fruit, for, go from this tree to this tree. Well how does that happen? Well a bee or a butterfly will fly in to drink the nectar. Nectar is kind of like fruit juice but it's food for the butterflies and bees. So they go in here to get their drink and eat their food, and some of the pollen from that flower sticks to their arms and legs and backs. Then the butterfly or the bee flies over to this tree and gets a drink, and some of that pollen stays on that flower. Then those flowers can develop into whatever fruit, apples, peaches, tomatoes, cucumbers, and then you have your food. So they are beneficial and don't be afraid when bees come because the bees are not there to sting you. They're not there to do anything but help pollinate your plants. And then they also make honey, which we all love. So what I'm going to do is talk to you today about different ways to attract butterflies into your garden. You're going to want to have plants that they can drink the nectar out of. And they also want to have what is called a host plant, which is the plant that adult butterfly will lay their eggs on and they, the caterpillars will eat it. The caterpillars are very picky eaters. They only like certain plants. So you have to know what type of butterfly will come to your garden and what kind of food the caterpillars will eat. So you have to have two different kinds of plants. So we're going to walk around the garden and I'm going to show you different plants for both the caterpillar to eat and the butterflies to drink their nectar from. All right, let's go. We're in one of my gardens and I want to show you my favorite butterfly plant. And the reason I like this one so much is because it flowers almost every day of the year. Well, now I am in Florida and I gotta admit I love it because we have so much sunshine and it's warm most of the time. But this plant that I'm gonna show you is called Penta and it grows for many years and it flowers all the time. So that means I can have butterflies come in and eat every day of the year. This is another Penta. It comes in many different colors and you can see it is February and it's blooming beautifully. And of course that's really good for the butterflies who are traveling south who are looking for food. This plant right here doesn't look very pretty, does it? But this is called a giant milkweed. This will get very large and the reason it doesn't look pretty is we just had a bunch of monarch butterfly caterpillars eating it and now they're in the process of turning into butterflies. And here's another one right beside it. This one also is for monarch butterfly caterpillars. And you can see there's a lot of leaves missing because there's been a lot of caterpillars here eating recently. And sometimes I have customers come up to me and they go, oh look you got bugs on your plants, they're eating them, aren't you worried? And I have to laugh and I say no, this is we grow these specifically for the butterflies so that they can lay their eggs and we can have more and more butterflies. So when you see caterpillars on your plants, don't kill them because they're going to become butterflies. So this plant is a passion fruit vine. I know many of you have heard about passion fruit and probably even tasted it. Well, did you know that the leaves are particularly delicious to not only the black swallowtail, but the Gulf fritillary? And these caterpillars that you're looking at are the Gulf fritillary caterpillars. So you can see that they're enjoying it very much. 
And when people come over and tell me, oh my gosh, you've got caterpillars on your vines. What are you going to do about it? I just have to laugh and explain to them that I have these plants for the caterpillars. All right, this that you're looking at right now is a pupa. What happens is the caterpillar has been eating on this plant, which we call a host plant because it's the plant that the butterfly caterpillar will eat. And then it spins the chrysalis and it's inside of there turning into a butterfly. And when it's done, it will break out of this chrysalis dry its wings off, and then fly away. Isn't that beautiful? All right, now we're going to go look at another plant. Now this is one of my favorite plants. This is actually called the cocktail tree. You can only grow this if you're in a tropical or semi-tropical area like Florida. But this is actually several citrus trees grafted onto one. So this has four different kinds of fruit. But if you look at it, it's flowering and it smells wonderful. And the bees and the butterflies love it. And most of the time there's a lot of bees on it. Now we're going to go look at another plant. Now we're in another one of my gardens. You can notice that this is arugula and it's flowering. Well, that provides nectar for the butterflies. This is another plant called nasturtium. The leaves are edible and so are the flowers. And it also supplies food for bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. This plant right here, in the north they call this butterfly weed, but down here they call it milkweed. And that is what the monarch butterflies love. So they're babies. That's, that's why we have so many of these here. It's for the caterpillars to eat. All right, so we're gonna go to another area now. This plant is called the blue sky vine. The butterflies love it. It, it actually helps with hummingbirds because it's got the big long neck. Bees love it and it's very beautiful. So, what you need to do in your area is find out what butterflies like to be there, what they're, what's native to it, as well as what plants will feed them as well as raise their children. You can do that by checking on the website or going to your local cooperative extension service. And there might be some local nurseries around that can help you with that too. So I invite you to start your own butterfly garden and enjoy it. Thank you very much. I invite all of you who either live local or come down to visit to come to Dunedin and visit my garden center. The address is 601 Patricia Avenue, Dunedin, Florida 34698. You can also check out my website which is organiclivingforall.com. If you have any questions you can always call me at 727-433-1661. I look forward to seeing you and showing you my gardens. Thank you.